It's 4.15 right now. Time for a check on traffic on this Wednesday evening. Here is a look at the BQE in Brooklyn. This is near Kent Avenue in Williamsburg. Now, no accident to report, but as you can see, plenty of traffic out there uh, slowing down in both directions. Meanwhile, News Copter 7 over the FDR in East Harlem. As we told you earlier, it's reopened this afternoon following the deadly NYPD shooting last night, and that seems to be moving fine, typical for this time of night. As for the Hudson River crossings, 20-minute delays outbound at the Lincoln Tunnel, five-minute delays at the Holland. And the good news, no issues to report at the George Washington Bridge. Well, a car rammed into a medical office building in Park Ridge, New Jersey today. The car crashed through the back entrance of the Valley Medical Group on Park Avenue just after 1 this afternoon. Police say the woman driving was getting out of her car when they arrived. She was taken to the hospital for observation. Thankfully, no one inside the building was hurt. Outgoing Speaker John Boehner says he feels confident that Republicans will stand behind Paul Ryan to replace him. Ryan, a representative from Wisconsin, said that he does not want the position unless all factions of the party back him. He also says that he will only take the job if more time is carved out to spend with his family. A vote for Boehner's replacement set for one week from today. The following day, the full House will vote. Can I just say, it feels like spring out there. You can nice. say anything you want. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It is fantastic. Everybody's happy. They're holding their jackets and waving and it's wearing the t-shirts and shorts today. It's so beautiful out. I mean, it's been in the mid and upper 70s all afternoon long. I mean, we're going back to early September here. We've got one more day like this to enjoy. Let's go ahead and look outside at Central Park where the foliage is coming in super slow. It usually peaks in early November, maybe the second week in November this year. Right now, our temperature's at 73. The air is nice and dry, 33%. Wind is out of the south. The pressure on the fall and the high today in the upper 70s, mid and upper 70s. 76 so far. We'll wait to the official reading comes in from the weather service maybe we caught a 77 73 man has it right now a south wind a little bit cooler around Conkoma and Hampton Bays but still very very comfortable Hudson Valley look at Poughkeepsie at 78 degrees now consider Poughkeepsie earlier in the week when we started with that chill coming off the weekend was in the low 20s so we're running about 57 degrees warmer this afternoon 75 in Newark and 70 in Belmar planner for the evening hours clear to partly cloudy skies nice slow drop through the 60s tomorrow morning barely below 60 with that long Pad. We could be in the low 70s by lunchtime, once again headed into the mid and upper 70s. I see new, no reason why it can't be just as warm, if not even a degree or two warmer tomorrow. So right now the satellite's clear. If you notice the clouds that are still streaming across extreme northern Sullivan, Ulster and Dutchess County, that's a warm front, turns into a cold front near New England. That's where the showers are, that's where the cooler air is, we're on the warm side of the front. That front has come as far south as it's going to go, at least for the next 24 hours. It's actually retreating to the north overnight, so we stay on the warm side of the front. If you trace that front back, it goes all the way to a low that's over the Great Lakes, actually snowing across parts of northern Ontario. Then there's that cold front, and it's actually going into Chicago right now. And for the second day in a row, there's a little cluster of rain showers west of Chicago. But this time, it's weaker, and it's moving right along. And when you look at a future cast here, and we look at first pitch, the showers are long gone. 71 partly cloudy skies. It started raining in the seventh inning last night, and then pouring in the ninth. We shouldn't have any shower activity, just some passing clouds as we go through the game, and very mild, about 71 at first pitch with a southwest wind about 8 to 16. So one more warm day, a mix of sun and clouds, mid and upper 70s. I can see our isolated shower sneaks into the northern suburbs late in the day and maybe into the evening hours we just have an isolated shower. But a lot of places are just going to remain dry with this front. Front's going to come through, much different feel on Friday. It's still a pretty day, but there's a gusty breeze out of the north that probably gusts over 20 miles an hour and 60 feels like 50s. Again, but still a nice day. It's mild for October tonight, 58, clear to partly cloudy and comfortable. Tomorrow warm with a mix of sunshine and clouds. Just a spotty afternoon shower north and west, mid and upper 70s. Then tomorrow night, definitely a cooler feel. We'll drop back into the 40s in the suburbs, about 52 in the city, just a stray evening shower and partly cloudy skies. Coming up at 4.30, we'll look ahead to the weekend. It looks like it's going to start dry and cool for that matter, but you see the rain off to the west. We'll tell you when you may have to be on guard to have your umbrella for at least part of the weekend, but I promise no washouts. Meanwhile, just spectacular out here. I'm actually overdressed here on October 21st with just a jacket on. Guys? Gotta I love that. Mm -hmm. I like the two ladies behind you with the sunglasses. Just hanging out. Like, hey, Very nice to see show. you. Look beautiful. Are you enjoying today's beautiful weather? <laughs> I love today's weather. It's up from Boca Raton, Florida. Oh, well, it's a, <laughs> and it's like being in Boca. <laughs> the, the, the sixth borough. Well, thank you for bringing the weather back to us. And that's a very pretty hat.
thank you very much. All right, nice to meet you. Good talker. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a good talker. I'm a good talker. Back to you. He's the mayor of the Upper West Side. He's a good talker. He's a good talker. We know he's a good talker. We love him for that. All right, thanks, Lee. Thank you, ladies. It's still to come. It has been months since we have talked about it, but Ebola. It is back on the international radar. A nurse in the UK has become infected. Dr. Richard Besser joins us to help us understand just how long the virus can live. And we are less than 10 minutes away from going back to the future, the exact time when Marty McFly went into the future. We're going to compare how right movie makers in the 80s got it when they imagined what 2015 would be like. Today at 5. Political posters plastered on a mom-and-pop business. I said, come back here and take this off. But why should they have to pay to clean it up? Doesn't come off. It's not fair. See if 7 on your side can make it right. I got a business to run. Today at 5 on Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Hey, Bob, wake up. Bob, wake up. It's time to do the Bobopedic gel ad. Ah, forget it. Sleep like a baby on my Bobopedic gel. Only $9.99 in queen size and only available at my Bob's Discount Furniture. That's a big bull. I think that's old Cyrus. 1,800 pounds of do whatever the heck I want. Take a long way, huh? Thank you, Cyrus. Lease an MKC for $2.99 a month. Only at your Lincoln dealer. I'm Michael Douglas, and New York is my home. There's no place like it in the world, and there's no time to see it like the fall. Take Metro North to take in the beautiful fall foliage from high above the Hudson. Swing a club at one of America's greatest courses. See spectacular sights underground or thrilling sights above it. There's so many incredible ways to experience the fun of fall in New York State. Plan your trip at iloveny.com. There's something for everyone. The Kia Sportage and Kia Sorento. Two great choices for any season with available fully active all-wheel drive. Plus, the 2015 Sorento was named the highest-ranked midsize SUV in initial quality by J.D. Power. While the Sportage all-wheel drive earned a five-star crash safety rating, giving you peace of mind all winter long. Now you can lease the Sportage LX for just $189 a month and the Sorento LX for only $209 a month. Discover the Kia Sportage and Sorento. Discover the new Kia. The perfect position with the touch of a button. My Bobble Pedic 9 on my Power Bob adjustable base is just the ticket. Fits in most existing beds. Queen size only $9.99. Or move up to dual control king only $15.98. Eyewitness News needs your help to protect our children. Have you seen Marisha? ABC7 and your Tri State 4 dealers thank you for helping protect our children. October 21st, 2015. Yes, October 21st, 2015. That's today, folks. Also, when Marty McFly and Doc Brown travel from 1985 to the future in the second movie in the series. Now, it happened at 429, to be exact. Yeah, we're just a few minutes away. It is 423 and 41 <laughs> seconds right now. Back to the Future fans are reliving all all the fun today. Michael J. Fox and that famed DeLorean made an appearance on Live with Michael, uh, Kelly and Michael this morning. The group chatted about what the movie got right back then. How does it feel for you to see so many things that were uh, set in the future that are real now? You have Skype, you have hoverboards. Am I receding hairline? Which we, which we <laughs> <laughs> Well, the movie predicted a lot more than that. And to Denver reporter Sandy Kenyon here with how much the movie makers got correct about the future. Sandy. Dave, Liz, I hadn't seen Back to the Future 2 since it came out, so I was surprised to see just how accurate it was when I screened it recently. And some of its bigger ideas might still come true. A few maybe soon, others, well, perhaps a little later. Where are we? When are we? When they flew into the future in 1989, they landed today. Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. Not all of the science fiction has become science fact. Cubs win World Series. After last night's third straight win by the Mets, that prediction remains... Hundreds of one shot. No baseball in Miami back then. 
Miami. Now, yeah. that's a reality, but cars don't fly yet, at least not in the cool way Doc's DeLorean does in the movie. As they said in the film, Back to the Future, where are we going? We don't need roads. Roads are still no. required, have been but Nike is said to be this close to making this real. <laughs> and this? He's on a hoverboard! May be closer than you think. A company is developing one that requires a special surface, and one day soon, the wheels could come off this idea. In the meantime, check out devices that look like an iPhone and Oculus Rift or Google Glass. In his home, Marty McFly had a choice of channels and got fired via video conferencing, which does seem awfully familiar. All I want is a Pepsi. Some of the companies who went back to the future back then have shown they haven't forgotten about being part of something special. Pepsi put out a replica of this futuristic bottle, and someone with a sense of humor made a fake trailer for Jaws 19. Shark still looks fake. <laughs> now, some of the briefest bits in this movie end up being the most accurate. On Marty's street, it's possible to glimpse garbage separated for recycling in a way that just wasn't commonplace in 1989. And at one point, behind Doc and McFly, there's a poster that suggests traveling to Vietnam to surf which is definitely possible now, happens all the time, but would not have been allowed in that country at the time the wow. film was shot. David Liz? Such forward thinking that occurred there. You gotta applaud everyone who was involved with that. Just Fantastic. a lot of fun. Yeah. All right, thanks. thanks, Andy. Well, comedian Chris Rock will host the Academy Awards next year. The Film Academy confirmed that Rock is their choice and that he has agreed the host uh, to host the show for a second time. He got mixed reviews when he hosted uh, the Oscars back in 2005. The red carpet rolls out uh, at the Dolby Theater in Hollywood on February 28th, and the 88th Academy Awards will air right here on Channel 7. Covering a lot of other stories, including our coverage of the killing of the NYPD officer Randolph Holder continues. You'll hear from his neighbors. Also had new details in the hazing death of a New York City college student. More suspects are now facing charges. And celebrations canceled. A New Jersey school tells Halloween to take a hike. Closed captioning is sponsored by Raymore and Flanagan. For the closest location, please visit RaymoreFlanagan.com. These Volkswagen SUVs are roomy and built for adventure. And no one's more excited about it than the family dog. The Tiguan compact SUV is powerful and versatile, with lots of space inside for you and your four-legged friends. Right, Boris? The Touareg has the power to get your tail wagging. Inside this midsize SUV, you'll find, whoa, that's a lot of dog and a lot of space. Am I right? Right now, get great deals on select Tiguan models, like the 2016 Tiguan S with 4Motion for $219 a month. Visit VWDealer.com today. Mom! Love that we're spending the weekend together. Oh, no! Hey, why don't you turn off your phone and all your stuff? Good idea. It's off. <laughs> Mom? Oh, my internet is so slow when anyone else is using it. Did you, like, want to do something? I am doing something. Leave slow internet behind. It's good to be back. The 100% fiber optics network gives you the fastest internet available for all your devices. Get out of the past. Get Fios. They gather in the muddy field of content. They battle to be crowned champions. And the biggest prize of all, family bragging rights. For championship floor protection, there's WeatherTech floor liners. They protect against dirt and spills, front, back, even up the sides. Laser measured for a perfect fit. Order yours today at WeatherTech.com. WeatherTech, the ultimate protection for your vehicle. Proudly made in America. We're here in the streets of New York, spreading the news about the real possibilities AERP is creating across the five boroughs. Because if you don't think real possibilities in New York City, when you think AARP, then you don't know ARP. We're working with you to make New York City a better place to live, work, and play. Fighting for you by taking on the issues that matter. And rediscovering the city with you at discounted events all around town. Get to know us at aarp.org slash NYC. I need to collect your phone so you can't post pictures. How does it feel to not be connected? My chest hurts. Let me show you a better way to keep connected. The 2016 oh. Chevy Cruze offers built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi that connects up to seven devices. Current qualified competitive lessees can get a sign-and-drive lease on this Chevy Cruze Limited LTE.
or get 1,000 cash allowance on this Chevy Cruze. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. The TCS New York City Marathon is almost here, and ABC7 has got you covered. From the marathon opening ceremony to the countdown on Saturday and all the excitement on Marathon Sunday, the TCS New York City Marathon. Race weekend starts October 30th only on ABC7. Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And all new this half hour, the deadly shooting of NYPD officer Randolph Holder. New information this half hour about the career criminal accused of killing him. 30-year-old Tyrone Howard is expected to be charged with fatally shooting officer Holder during a gunfight last night near the FDR Drive. Holder is the second NYPD officer killed this year and the fourth murdered in the past 11 months. And despite the long rap sheet of the suspect, he was allowed to enter a drug diversion program earlier this year and then voluntarily left that program. And outraged Mayor de Blasio is blasting the decision to give Howard another chance. The perpetrator involved here was obviously a hardened, violent criminal and should not have been on the streets. So there's more we have to do and more our criminal justice system has to do because that's one of the ways we will protect our communities and our officers alike is to ensure the individual like, individuals like this are just not on our streets. And just moments ago, authorities shut down the Midtown Tunnel as a motorcade transferred Officer Holder's body. Shannon Stone live over the scene in Newscopter 7. We continue to watch those live pictures. Look at there. And just minutes ago, the medical examiner released Officer Holder's cause of death, a gunshot wound to the head. The manner of death has now been ruled a homicide. Officer Randolph Holder uh, immigrated here from Guyana. He was a third generation police officer following in his father and grandfather's footsteps in the line of duty. And yeah, this tragedy coming as a huge shock to Officer Holder's neighborhood in Brooklyn. I would news reporter Stacy Sager is in the Mill Basin section with more. Stacy. Well, Liz, this is the home where Officer Holder lived these past couple of years with his girlfriend. You know, not everyone on this block even knew he was a police officer, but they certainly knew what kind of man he was. And today, he is sorely missed. I think it's horrible. I mean, he's such a gentleman, such a nice person. Friends and relatives of Officer Randolph Holder coming and going today at the home he lived in here in Mill Basin for the past couple of years. A police car parked out front for much of the day and neighbors recalling just what kind of guy he was. The kind of person who'd clean up his whole block, just wouldn't tell anyone about it. Imagine if you lived in a house and you come out and the sh snow is shoveled and you don't know who's doing it. And that happened like for almost a whole year, you know, the whole winter. Never know who shoveled the snow. All the way up to my door, he would go. And he put the garbage pails away on, on the whole block for the people. Some of them knew Holder was a cop, and those who didn't were not surprised to find out today. His desire to do good not lost on anyone here. But neither is the anger at the violent criminal who shot him. And I just heard on the news that he's a 30-year-old career criminal. Why is he on the street? So he's dead. And it is this kind of senseless violence that has people on this block so frustrated right now. And as you can see, the community affairs officers remain here as friends and family continue to pay their respects. We're live in Mill Basin. I'm Stacy Sager, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Stacy. And right now, as we said, authorities uh, have shut down the Midtown Tunnel as a motorcade transferred officer holder's body. Let's go to Shannon Stone, who's in News Copter 7 over the scene. Shannon. Yeah, and you can see the ambulance is now moving east along the LIE, and they're pretty much taking over that left lane. I think we have pictures that we can show you from a few minutes ago, though, when it left the medical examiner's office on the east side and went through the Queens Midtown Tunnel. There was a line of blue officers saluting the ambulance as it passed through. You need to know as you come through this area, they are traveling east on the LIE. We are being told that they are going to go to the eastbound Grand Central and then down the Van Wick. At any point, if you are trying to 
get on any of those roadways as this motorcade comes through, they are likely to shut it down. They completely shut down the Queens Midtown Tunnel in both directions, and we've been watching them shut down entrance ramps to the LIE so that they can get a clear shot to where they are going. But again, Officer Holder's body inside that ambulance, it has now been removed from the medical examiner's office, and everyone's saluting as he went through that Queens Midtown Tunnel, now heading east on the LIE and going towards the Grand Central Parkway. Reporting live over the LIE, Shannon Stone, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Shannon. Very emotional scene. Stay mm -hmm. with Eyewitness News and ABC 7 New York for the very latest on the killing of Officer Holder. And coming up at 5, we'll have new information on the suspect. We're going to turn to the other news of the day. And the last of five fraternity members at Baruch College are now charged with murder for the hazing death of a fellow student. Police in Pennsylvania say fraternity brothers physically abused Michael Dang during a hazing ritual back in December of 2013 in the Pocono Mountains and then tried to cover it up. Five students from Queens are set to be arraigned tomorrow on third-degree murder charges. In all, 37 people have now been charged. Well, we're learning new details about the murder of a man whose body was found burning in Manorville last week. Police on Long Island just telling us they've arrested a second suspect in the case, an 18-year-old Orlin Solis Galvez of Amityville. He now faces second-degree murder charges along with Brian Mejia, who police arrested over the weekend. Investigators have identified the victim as 36-year-old German Guzman. Well, a soldier from New Jersey who was killed during a routine training exercise was honored today. Flags at government buildings are flying at half-staff in memory of Army Specialist Kevin Rodriguez. Governor Christie ordered the honor for the 22-year-old from Patterson. He died earlier this month after he was accidentally shot during training at Fort Campbell on the Kentucky-Tennessee border. And after a three-year battle, a New Jersey appeals court rejected a zoning decision that would allow LG Electronics to build a 143-foot-tall headquarters atop the Palisades Cliff. Officials in Englewood Cliffs had okayed the plan back in 2012, but an appeals court ruled that decision didn't take into account the effect on the area. However, in June, LG bowed to public pressure and agreed to scale back on the height of the building to just five stories, just shy of 70 feet. An elementary school in Maplewood, New Jersey, has decided not to hold Halloween parties this Friday, saying many students in the past say they have felt left out in the celebration. Seth Boyden Elementary sent a letter to parents explaining the decision. It says many cultures are represented at the school and many children didn't take part in last year's celebrations. An attempt to cancel the parties last year sparked an outcry by some parents that led to the reinstatement then. And still to come, a nurse declared free of Ebola suffers a rare relapse. You've got an update on that nurse's condition and Dr. Richard Besser joins us with new information about what her case now means. And a road rage tragedy, a community reeling from a little girl's death and an all-out search for her killer. 1982, sex, drugs, and rock and roll were the rage, but murder was the new high. I've never done anything like that. This is just the beginning. Wicked City premieres Tuesday on ABC. Whew, that was close. Come on! Uh-oh, better get Mako. For a limited time, take advantage of Mako's 179 bumper special. Mako, America's body shop. For the Girl Scout meeting. How many meetings are you having? At Stop and Shop, prices have just gone down. The savings keep going up, which makes the checkout lane victory lane. My Stop and Shop. Take a fresh look at this week's prices, like five pound boxes of sweet and juicy tangerines for $4.99 and Domino granulated sugar for $1.49. Before you choose a replacement window company, you want to know which window company other homeowners chose, right? We're Renewal by Anderson, and these are the over 25,000 New York Metro homeowners who trusted our window. We are the replacement window division of Anderson, and with us, you won't get the runaround between a manufacturer and some installer. We are the manufacturer and the installer. 
Right now, save 20% on windows, patio doors, and installation. With no money down, no payments, and no interest for one year. Choose the window that all of these local homeowners chose. And now, Renewal by Anderson was named highest in customer satisfaction with windows and doors by J.D. Power. Save 20% on windows, save 20% on patio doors, and save 20% on installation, too. With no money down, no payments, and no interest for one year. For your free window diagnosis, call 1-800-783-1700. You shouldn't have to empty your wallet to fill your tank. Nissan makes America's most fuel-efficient full line and one car that uses no gas at all. Choose what's right for you. Lease the 38 MPG Highway Altima just $179 per month or get a $199 per month lease on Rogue. Hang on to more of your money. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Innovation that excites. Whew, that was close. Uh oh, better get Mako. For a limited time, take advantage of Mako's 179 bumper special. Mako, America's body shop. Well, doctors in the UK now say a nurse who battled Ebola for months did not suffer a reinfection of the potentially deadly disease. Yeah, earlier this month, Pauline Caffrey was rehospitalized. Doctors now say the reason was meningitis caused by the Ebola virus. It apparently was lingering inside her. However, doctors say she has improved significantly, and as for the Ebola in her brain, doctors are using an experimental drug for treatment. We've gone through in great detail with her what we do know about the drug and what we don't know about the drug. And also, to be very, very clear, this is highly experimental treatment, and we don't yet know whether it's of benefit to her. Caffrey was originally treated for Ebola in December and released in January. Scientists say in rare cases, the virus can remain in the body for months. Well, joining us now to talk more about this is ABC's Dr. Richard Besser. And Rich, you have spent a lot of time in Ebola-plagued places. Yes. I think a lot of people hear this story and they're shocked to hear how long Ebola can linger in your body. Well, I, I think public health experts and scientists are, are also a little shocked by this. You know, they, this, this is the first time there's been experience with thousands of people who've had Ebola in Infection. And the recent news is a little worrisome. There, there was an American doctor who had a relapse of Ebola uh, in his eye. There's this, uh, this uh, woman in, in, in uh, Great Britain now who has meningitis from a virus that was hanging out in her body. And then a recent study that showed that one in four men who were infected with the Ebola virus can still have this isolated, the, the particles from their semen, nine months out. And so the question is, you know, when is a cure truly a cure? Mm-hmm. And is it possible that there are many people out there who have this virus that's kind of lurking that could later on lead to more cases? Mm-hmm. That's so far, yeah, so far, you know, there hasn't been any spread. Mm-hmm. Everyone's, when they've had symptoms, they've been treated. But it is very worrisome, and it shows us how little we, we know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we got time for a question from a viewer, and if I didn't know better, I would think this is Lee Goldberg who sent this. Yes. In, but it wasn't. And the question is, I have been completely healthy for 32 years without the flu shot. Should I continue this? Well, Lee. It seems like we uh, deal with this a lot. We do. Um, and and here's, here's the thing. The flu vaccine is recommended for everyone six months and, and older. Some years, it's quite effective in in reducing your chances of getting severe flu, about 50% effective. I wish it was more effective. You know, something like a measles vaccine is 95% effective. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's the best we've got. I recommend it. I give it to my family. I got the vaccine a few weeks ago. But you have to look at the information and, and decide for yourself. Is cutting down your risk of flu worth it? Is the risk of someone who does weather reporting not giving it to the other anchors right. worth getting the vaccine? <laughs> and that's something that people have to You know what Lee, Lee heard and all of that? Lee heard this. La, 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 la. <laughs> but I think you also brought up a point last time we talked about this, is that people should get it because there are other people that's out true. there who are sick. Yeah. And there, you don't want to put necessarily them at Risk. That's right. There are people who have severe egg allergies who are under 18 who cannot get a vaccine. There are people who have forms of cancer who can't get vaccinated. We vaccinate for ourselves and for those around us. You're preaching to the choir, Doctor. I know. Just so you know, I know. That. Most of us. You hear that, Lee? You're late. Uh, he doesn't hear that. Right, so Don't us. forget, Dr. He Besser is here to answer your questions every week. Tweet him using the hashtag tell me the truth. Okay, thanks a lot, Richard. Bye. And still to come, Lee returns with much more on your accurate the forecast when we come right back. 
Okay, traffic's a mess. I gotta call you back. Good luck. With driver assist features for blind spots, Ford Explorers got you covered. Get a 2016 Ford Explorer with zero down, zero do it signing, and zero first month's payment. I love New York. These grapes are squishy. I need a shove. Can someone help me? I love New York. Yes, that's a real bear. <laughs> I want a trip. That is so exciting. Play the I Love New York scratch-off from the New York Lottery. You could win trips to exciting New York destinations or up to $25,000 in cash. At Stanley Steamer, we go beyond carpet cleaning. We're also experts at cleaning tile and ground. Our high-pressure equipment extracts dirt powerfully yet safely with far better results than mopping. We can even seal or recolor your grout for a fresh look. Call now about our tile cleaning special. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. The Kia Sportage and Kia Sorento. Two great choices for any season. With available fully active all-wheel drive. Plus, the 2015 Sorento was named the highest-ranked midsize SUV in initial quality by J.D. Power, while the Sportage all-wheal driver to five-star crash safety rating, giving you peace of mind all winter long. Now you can lease the Sportage LX for just $189 a month and the Sorento LX for only $209 a month. Discover the Kia Sportage and Sorento. Discover the new Kia. Why don't you all come with us to church tonight? To church? <laughs> Or not to church. I have explained your absence by saying you have been off fighting the Taliban. New Blackish, tonight on ABC. Don't make a lie out of me. So it's you versus the commute. Find alternate routes. Ford Explorer handles that with sync and onboard navigation so you can avoid traffic delays. Get a 2016 Ford Explorer with zero down, zero do it signing, and zero first month's payment. Today at 5. Political posters plastered on a mom and pop business. I said, come back here and take this off. But why should they have to pay to clean it up? Doesn't come off. It's not fair. See if 7 on your side can make it right. I got a business to run. Today at 5 on Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Well, a dramatic rescue by the Coast Guard uh, captured on camera. A Frenchman with oh. his cat. Uh, tucked in his clothing, made a huge leap to a waiting rescue ship. His sailboat was getting battered by waves 20 feet high and gale force winds. Look at that. Happened hundreds of miles south of Cold Bay in Alaska. Thankfully, the sailor and his cat are doing just fine. Getting nauseous looking. Right? Right? That's unbelievable. You, you tip your hat to those Coast Guard rescue folks, man, what they do. Uh, what do you got for us, well, I just Listen, I just want to say, I, yeah. I don't want to be, because I'm getting, a, no, I'm getting, I'm a good talker. That's number one. <laughs> good talker. But, <laughs> getting, getting some tweets, I don't want to seem disrespectful to Dr. Besser and his flu oh, no, recommendations. You know because I just, uh, I don't right. like voluntarily. Right. You know, right, we get that's it. That's the only Even thing. Even though you're wrong. You're right. Well, <laughs> let, let, like I said to him on the way out, let's see what the strain does this year. Last year, he'll admit the strain was not that. It's always good to have a naysayer in the group. <laughs> and that's you. <laughs> I, I will assume that role, no problem. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's talk weather. Outside we go. We have what is a really nice afternoon on the west side. No one's rushing. No one has the heavy coat. If anything, they're carrying it. It's beautiful out. You know, you even look at some of the trees on the west side. Of course, New York City, the foliage is delayed just because of the warmth of the heat island, all the concrete. And it just, it doesn't look like a, a late fall, late October afternoon. It's beautiful out here. 73 degrees, sunshine, south wind at 6. It's going to be a beautiful evening. Do yourself a favor and get outside for at least a little walk. 60s through the evening, just some patchy clouds, only going down to about 58 degrees tonight. As we go through the evening hours in Chicago, we have a rain threat actually over the next hour or two. And then after that, we're in good shape, so it's dry for the ball game. 71 degrees dropping through the 60s. Weather is not an issue. Uh, wind blowing out a little bit at Wrigley, so maybe a few more home runs tonight. 58 degrees, clear to partly cloudy skies overnight. Look at the mid-70s tomorrow, great-looking day. More clouds will be mixing in at times. I think the rain threat doesn't come in until late afternoon, well north and west, and if it's going to 
shower briefly in the nearby northwest suburbs and in New York City and down to the coast. It wouldn't be until close to sunset and into the early evening hours. Not a big deal. But we do go back to reality here. This front is coming through tomorrow evening and then the numbers drop closer to average. It was closer to 60 degrees by the time we get to Friday. You can see all the 70s here along the east coast. It's beautiful. But yet you see the 40s and 50s here sitting across the Great Lakes. The front is just getting to Chicago or approaching right now and you can see a couple of showers there. Look, it's snow over parts of Ontario near Hudson Bay. But that cold air for now is staying to the north, and we're just on the warm side. The only thing that could keep us from being as warm or even a little bit warmer than today, just some periods of cloud cover if they come at the wrong time during the middle of the day tomorrow. If you look at the future cast overnight, 50s in most suburbs, showers staying to the north, patchy clouds at times tomorrow, a late day shower in the Catskills, Poconos. It would be early evening if it reached New York City and Long Island, Connecticut coast and the Jersey Shore, and after that it will move away. Here is your seven day active weather forecast. It's not too bad, but obviously tomorrow stands out. Seven 76 and a nice warm breeze. The cool air makes a comeback on Friday, a little windy as well. On Saturday, sun, filtered sun and high clouds. You notice a high of 58. Milder on Sunday, but it will get off to a wet start. I think we could have a quarter of an inch of rainfall in the early morning hours, maybe to let's say 11 or so in the morning. And then after that, sun tries to break through in the afternoon. Cool blue skies on Monday, and we're around 60 and quiet in early next week. Maybe a more significant rain by Wednesday night into Thursday of next week. We'd like to see whatever big ticket item there is late week get here and get out by Halloween and the marathon, yes. which right now, the yes, point. The so point. That's, that's what I'm trying to put out into the universe. <laughs> so what happens. We like that. Okay. We'll put it out there. David. Uh, whenever she points at you, Lee, that's, she <laughs> means it when she does that. All right, here's what's trending on this Wednesday. And as we reported earlier today, Back to the Future Day, the day Marty McFly, Doc Brown, end up in the distant future of 2015. Uh, to mark the occasion, several companies tried to cash in. We told you about Pepsi earlier. Well, the ride-sharing service Lyft, offering free rides to New York City passengers in a DeLorean. In the Back to the Future car. Riders who selected McFly mode on the Lyft mobile app between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. had the chance to be picked up by the DeLorean. So, you know, well, we got about nine minutes going. <laughs> Time's not up to have this chance to go you on. You remember how many gigawatts you need? How many gigawatts do you 1. need? 1.21 gigawatts. Wow, you really is something. You've been watching the movie again. Yeah. All right, outside of Back to the Future uh, 2, Channing Tatum is trending. He got dressed up for his daughter's Halloween carnival. Oh, how cute. And posted the pic <laughs> on Instagram. In case you can't figure it out, Liz, he's a Pooh the Bear. Yes, That's Winnie him. the Pooh. He does not look like uh, no. anything no. from the movie. We'll just move on. Yeah. <laughs> the marriage of science and art is trending. A scientist recreated Vincent van Gogh's famous oh painting, goodness. The Starry Night, in a Petri dish. The project part of the American Society of Microbiology's first contest. Not bad, huh? That's all done with science. Science! A New York Giant <laughs> fan, and Lee, pay attention to this. Okay. A New York Giant fan had some fun during her wedding by surprising her new husband at the reception with a special cake. Take a look. Yes, right on the top of the cake. Oh. New England Patriot quarterback Tom Brady in a dress and heels. At least he has the Patriots hat on. I like the wife's sense of humor personally. And I bet the wedding cake tasted extra good with a side of smack talk there. <laughs> you know what? He wears anything well. He does. Darn it, he's still November looks good. November 15th at the Meadowlands, baby. <laughs> Is that it? Giants Pats. Oh, let the smack talk begin. <laughs> yes. All right, finally, one family's answer to how to handle a cranky baby. The Roomba comes to the rescue. Oh my goodness, that is the best. The poor thing had a fever, and you could see it's not really ready to like just break out in laughter, but it, you, it stopped the crying. I was like, okay, this is not bad. I can work with this. Mm -hmm. And the good night is that uh, four floors cleaner. So oh, two good things as one. Well. Excellent the music Heine. too. I know. The music was a strange combo. <laughs> as always, check out the trend online at ABC7 NY. Send us your trend ideas using the hashtag the trend. So funny. Watching that just makes you smile. Yeah, yeah, love cute. that. All right. And coming up on Ominous News First to Four, a plea for help. Police searching for clues after a four year old girl was killed in a road rage incident. We'll have the latest. And we're going to take a quick look at the delays at the Hudson River crossings right now. 15 minutes outbound on the Lincoln Tunnel, 20 minutes outbound on the Holland, and no delay still at the George Washington Bridge. We'll be right back. Wallapop makes it simple to sell anything. Just download the free app, snap a picture of your item, and it's instantly listed locally. Free. Wallapop users have profiles, so you'll always know just who you're dealing with. Start selling with Wallapop. It's not about hugging trees. 
not about being wasteful either. You gotta find that balance. But taking care of yourself takes care of more than just yourself. Lease an MKZ Hybrid for two thirty nine a month, only at your Lincoln dealer. I love my boyfriend, but I hate his furniture. Don't compromise. Whatever. Raymore and Flanagan has amazing deals. Great financing available and 0% APR for 48 months. Now, if you both agree, you have plenty of time to think about all the other important things in life. Like getting married and starting a family. This sale's going on now. Get this. I was at my shop, tied up with a customer when I realized the time. I had to get to the bank before it closed, so I made a break for it. When I got out, it was almost closing time. Traffic was bad. I knew I was cutting it close. But it was okay. I use TD Bank. It's got the longest hours and stays open an extra 10 minutes every day. I'm Sid, and I bank human at TD Bank. Wallapop makes it simple to sell anything. Just download the free app. Snap a picture of your item, and it's instantly listed locally. Free. Wallapop users have profiles, so you'll always know just who you're dealing with. Start selling with Wallapop. Well, we have new information this afternoon in a road rage incident that ended with the death of a four-year-old little girl in New Mexico. Please now have a description of the suspect. And the authorities are asking for the public's help in finding him. And as ABC's Elizabeth Hirsch, sh Hirsch shows us, a massive manhunt is underway. Seeking justice for Lily Garcia. Her family and police are pleading with the public to help find her killer. Authorities now describing the man who fled this crime scene in New Mexico as in his 20s or 30s with a thin goatee and average build, driving a maroon or dark red Toyota four-door sedan with tinted windows. We are begging for the community's help. We need to rise up as a community and say enough is enough. The daughter is not conscious. She's going to be four years of age. Police say four-year-old Lily was sitting in the backseat of her parents' pickup truck along with her seven-year-old brother yesterday when their car and the other vehicle engaged in a road rage incident in Albuquerque, ending with a suspect shooting and killing her. The cars are both moving. One car pulled up against the other car and started firing rounds into that vehicle. Yeah, I'm going to need a uh, freeway shutdown. For hours, police shut down the busy I-40 highway, sweeping the area for the suspected gunman to no avail. Today, a GoFundMe page has been set up to help pay for Lily's funeral, as police continue to ask anyone with knowledge of the shooting to do the right thing. And this is something that should not be happening in Albuquerque, New Mexico let alone anywhere else in the United States. Meanwhile, strangers from across the country are responding with an outpouring of love and money for Lily and the Garcia family, raising more than $30,000 and counting to help pay for her funeral. I'm Elizabeth Herr for Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Still more news ahead. Eyewitness News at 5 begins right now. Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. To me? He should be put to death. The father of slain NYPD officer Randolph Holder calling for justice. And tonight, questions about the man accused of murdering the dedicated cop. Why was a wanted career criminal out on the street? And investigators working around the clock to piece together the minutes leading up to Officer Holder's murder. And good evening at 5 o'clock. I'm Diana Williams. And I'm Shade Benarinwam. Intense police work happening in spite of crippling grief. Newscopter 7 overhead of the Queens Midtown Tunnel just moments ago. The murdered officer's body being transported right now by ambulance from the medical examiner's office. The sh it shut down as the motorcade passed through. Today, the department and the city is mourning Officer Randolph Holder, who was just 33 years old. The five-year veteran of the NYPD lived in Brooklyn 
He's the fourth officer to be killed on the job in just the past 10 months. The suspect Tyrone Howard is no stranger to police. He has 18 prior arrests. He has served five stints behind bars and had three outstanding warrants when he was arrested last night. And take a look. This was the scene of the crime, the FDR drive. It reopened this evening after it was shut down all night through the morning commute and into the early afternoon. We have three reports on today's developments. We begin with NJ Burkett in East Harlem where Officer Holder worked. NJ. Shaw Day 18 prior arrests and Tyrone Howard was still on the streets of East Harlem. Well, the question tonight from the city's police commissioner is why? But some say it is not only the criminal justice system that failed Officer Holder. Officers stood and saluted as housing officer Randolph Holder's body was driven from the emergency room where trauma surgeons were unable to save him. A five-year veteran of the force and a third